What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. In celebration of the Doom Eternal release, we brought back David Cotton. He won first place at QuakeCon in the id Bethesda category with a Doom themed computer that fits in his backpack. Some of you might remember that 8 foot tall Half-Life Citadel PC mod he made that we covered two years ago. Anyways, let's go talk to him about his newest build. Well, welcome, David, to GeForce hey. Garage. Thanks. What did you bring us today? This is the little brother to the BFG that I built a while back. This is the SFPC. I built the BFG for Doom 2016, and now with Doom Eternal coming out, I figured I'd go with the small form factor and put some Doom stuff on there. So what was your inspiration behind this build? Well, my first two professional builds have been the BFG and then the Citadel from Half-Life 2, and that one was eight and a half feet tall. So I was kind of over the large case builds, and I wanted something that was much more portable. What was your process of going about like creating the design of this? Originally what I did is I took all the components and I squished them together as close as I could in CAD. I got the motherboard and the graphics card in a position that I knew would orient properly with the cables and then that left me a rectangle that I could fit for the power supply that would fit my power requirements and the space I had available. How'd you go about making the actual case? It's maker beam on the, uh, on the outside, so that's the rigid frame and then acrylic slots into the grooves the components mount to the external acrylic, and there's an enclosure that I built for the power supply to route the cables and have some cable management. The power cables to the GPU, I've never seen a configuration like that. What did you actually have to do there? I removed the connector, I bent the pins at 90 degrees, heat shrink them, and then they're held in place by a piece of acrylic. It takes up way less room than a full-size connector. So you have no wiggle room in this PC then? Right, yeah. Most of the components are exactly where they need to be. The motherboard itself is held down by the graphics card's edge. It's not making contact with anything that it doesn't need to, but it's holding it down perfectly on one corner. And just out of curiosity, what's, what's the temperatures like in this PC? Yeah, so I get that question a lot. And if you think about it from like a larger case perspective, it's getting direct air from the outside. So it's not getting case air, it's getting external air. And then it's venting it directly out. So it's just as efficient cooling wise, if not more than a regular case. So I noticed that you have some laser cutting on both sides of this. Well, what are these two logos? I have the Doom Slayer logo. They use it for the Slayers Club as well. And then on the other side, I have the UAC logo. And uh, I've got Tim Willett's signature on that side. So what's the significance behind that signature? At QuakeCon, it ended up being his last year with Aid Bethesda. I had just won first place with this case, so I figured I'd ask him to sign it, and he did. The panels themselves, I originally thought about edge lighting them with uh, LEDs, because uh, RGB LEDs are all the rage. But I ended up going with fluorescent acrylic, so that whenever you shine black light on it, it just really makes the etching and the overall panel pop. Is there anything about this build for someone that maybe just first looking at it that you kind of want to give a little bit of a shout out to? I guess one obvious thing is that it's a computer. Um, <laughs> I, I got a lot of questions about, is this a router? Is this a PlayStation? Most people don't realize it's a full gaming PC, just as powerful as 90% of the other ones that were on my row. All right, well, it's tiny, but how powerful is it? Yeah, so for graphics, I've got a GeForce RTX 2080. For CPU, I have a 9700 non-K. It has 32 gigs of RAM. It's all sitting on top of the Asus Strix Z370i. Originally, I had a 270i in there, and uh, in all my iterations of taking it apart, putting it back together, I flexed the motherboard one too many times, and I got the, the smoke monster, so I had to replace it in two weeks before the event. I have a 500-watt power supply from FSP Group. Works great, powers everything just fine. If you guys are interested in building one of these tiny machines, David will be making kits through his website, so check out that link down below for more info. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you for the next one.